Barford Rovers in the promotion stakes with no stadium problems and with games in hand. Peter Henderson's men could be dark horses. Justin doing his bit. And Steen should have made it two for the home side. The spade work done by Paul Tosh, but after his miss, Steen looking to dig a hole for himself. Second goal wasn't far away. Craig Dargo getting away from Derek Anderson. Paul Tosh still with somewhat to do, but the finish is precise and to the point. Rotten were never going to give in, and it took a great save from Guido van de Kam to deny substitute Paul McDonald. The big keeper was criticised last week against St Mirren. No complaints there. Wraith introduced Ansa Owusu, their loan signing from Wimbledon, but his first bite of Scottish football had the taste of Derek Anderson's elbow. On the left of the screen you can see the incident. It was also seen by the and Anderson invited to take the long walk. There was no doubt now about the outcome. The partnership of Steen and Steve Tosh this time made sure Morton's misery didn't let up. Seconds remaining, Steen to Tosh to 3 0. All over, Barla shouting, Wraith hanging in there. David McKinney there. So, Wraith take the three points at Starks Park. After the match, Stephen Kelly spoke to Morton boss Ian McCall. But first, here's a rather relieved Peter Heather. I thought this was from the players so far, but today, you know, they know they're very disappointed they didn't perform. Uh, but we'll work hard to make it better. Ruth seemed to create chance after chance. It was very difficult for you, certainly. Yeah, we had a 20 minute spell in the second half when we could have scored a couple of goals, but apart from that, our goalkeeper was outstanding and Ruth thoroughly deserved to win.